final chapter, we look into NTP or Network Time Protocol. Now, time synchronization requirement. Consistent clock of all devices is required in many scenarios on enterprise campus network. Now, why this is important? Because that some of the user who log on need to have a timestamp. And if let's say the time difference between the authentication server as well as the authentication client, sometimes authentication will fail. And more importantly, we also want to keep a lock. Okay, so that is the reason why we need to make sure our device have the time synchronized, which means that your time should not run too differently. Okay, the, the time need to be accurate. So we have uh, the reason is because of uh, network management, analysis of log or debugging message collecting from different routers need the time reference because sometimes when the routers fail or when your routers have some errors, it will actually put a timestamp and we know that where that error happened. Next is uh, charging the time. The clock of all devices must be consistent because if you are going to use certain network, a certain time and if your time is not synchronized so there's no way for us to uh, charge the system because they may need to have some uh, accounting information there so several systems working together on the same complicated system uh, especially if you say you are running on certain high availability the system time have to be accurate so system have to take the same clock for reference to ensure proper sequence of implementation, especially if let's say you are using DWDM. Incremental backup between a backup server and the client. Clock on the backup server and the client should be synchronized. This is for the backup purpose. And finally, as I mentioned, for authentication purpose, the system time is very important. Time synchronization is very important for our network devices. So let's look into the NTP overview. If the administrator manually entered a command to change the system time for time synchronization, the workload is heavy because you may have so many devices in the network. Are you going to configure the time uh, one by one? And to be accurate, you have to make sure that you are going to uh, key in up to the second level accuracy. Therefore, is uh, you need some tools and that tools is uh, NTP. So NTP is designed to synchronize clock of the devices. So NTP or Network Time Protocol is an application layer protocol belong to TCP IP suite and synchronized time between a group or distributed time server and client. NTP is based on IP and UDP. NTP packets are transmitted using uh, UDP port 123. So here I have an NTP server. This is the source clock. And here we have all the devices we have access point the router the switches the firewall the server or even the pc need to synchronize their clock to the ntp server so once you synchronize all the clocking will be uh, the same and we call that as synchronized so let's look into the mechanism on ntp network structure so first we have the primary time server now here we have this uh, primary time server. You can see that their measurement is by the truss. The truss is using what we call the stratum. The digit one means that you are highly trusted. Okay, so a stratum one or primary time server directly synchronizes its clock with a standard reference clock through a cable or radio. Typically, the standard reference clock is either radio or GPS. Now, GPS is very accurate. You can see that your global positioning system, you actually point to the satellite, and the satellite actually work based on clocking, and their clock is very accurate. Next, we have a stratum 2 time server. Synchronize this clock with either the primary time server or other stratum 2 server within the network. Stratum 2 time server use NTP to send time information to other hosts in the LAN. So in this case, we have a stratum 2. So stratum 1 get this from uh, the uh, GPS. Once you have this uh, clock synchronized, then the time server is going to synchronize with stratum number 1. Or stratum number 2 also can get from other stratum number 1 because you can have multiple stratum number 1 source. Now stratum is a hierarchical standard for clock synchronization. It represents the precision of the clock. The value of a stratum is from 1 to 15. A smaller value indicates 
higher precision. One indicates the highest level of precision. 15 means that it's not synchronized. So once you have number one, there's a source, you synchronize with number two, number two synchronize number three. The AP, router switches, all these are considered NTP client. Okay, and they can synchronize with stratum one, two, uh, or three. Okay, so let's look into the summary. So in this topic, uh, first we look into FTP is used to transfer files. Remember that uh, we have the active and the passive. You are advised to use different transfer mode for different files. And if you still remember, we have the ASCII format and we also have a binary format. FTP is based on TCP and therefore can ensure reliability efficiency of file transfer. Then you also have DHCP, which dynamically assign IP through DHCP, reduce the workload of the administrator and avoid IP conflict caused by manual configuration network parameters. Then we also look into the www or HTTP as a document transfer protocol for www. HTTP is widely used in today's network for encoding and transporting information between a client such as web browser and a web server. Okay, so we come to the end of the session. Uh, thank you for viewing my video. I'll see you on the next module. Bye.